So a few things you can do for tension headaches is mostly to kind of release around the neck, the jaw, and the jaw hinge muscle kind of attaches up into the um, sides of the skull as well. So kind of a little bit of massage, but without working the arms too much. Um, there's a couple of different pressure points as well that I can talk you through. Um, so first of all, kind of releasing around the neck and the shoulders. If you take your arm out to the side and think your bicep turning up towards the ceiling so that your shoulder blade comes down so that you're avoiding this um, tension up in the traps here. So let the armpit kind of come forwards. You can bend the elbow if that helps too. And then dropping the head away from the hands, so you're long through the side of the neck and think your elbow reaching away from the body. So again, if there's tension here, it's gonna be holding. So think about directing the shoulder away from the earlobe this way, down. You can even use your hand to kind of guide the shoulder down away. And then opposite ear, just dropping downwards so that the side of the neck is long. Uh, you can then use your hand to kind of massage the muscle that runs from just behind your ear into the trap. So you're kind of going along it a few times first. You can put a bit of oil or moisturizer or something on if it, so you don't chafe your neck. Um, and then also going kind of side to side. So you're kind of breaking up some of the tension going through it just gently, <laughs> nothing too strong. Take it all the way down to kind of the ridge of the collarbone where the muscle kind of in, goes in into there and back up again. So you can do that a few times and you'll kind of feel into where the juicy points are of it. Maybe slightly further back feels quite good or slightly further forwards just without coming onto the inside. You don't want to massage too much into the softer parts of the neck and letting the arm drop and give the head a roll and then just notice before you do the other side if there's um, and I can actually see already just that sort of sensational difference or physical difference of one side to the other so it might cue that there's some tension in the traps that's creating that tension headache so you do the other side I'm just going to go through so arm out bicep turning up bend the elbow if it helps you're guiding the shoulder away from the ear and then dropping the earlobe towards the shoulder here Okay, so you're open through the side of the neck. And again, using the hand, if you want to, just build a bit more into it, guiding the muscle down, just gently massaging. And you can slightly break it up a little bit more, going side to side. So just nice and easy finding again. So you're running the fingers right in, so that sort of you'll feel a little dent that comes into the top of the shoulder head. Feel into that. And so maybe slightly further back or slightly in front but not too far around the front. Okay, release, drop the chin towards the chest and relax the arm and bring it back up. Okay, now bring your hands around to the interlace, to the back of the head. Elbows just coming slightly further forwards and press the head a little bit into your hands so that your chin comes back towards your throat. So particularly if you've been looking at a screen, we tend to hold this kind of posture, which builds a lot of tension through the back of the neck and the, the neck muscles. So pressing your head really lightly into the hands just to align it. So I think going back and up as you're creating the best double chin look that you can. Now use your thumbs here. So I'm going to turn around so you can see. So your thumbs finding this, um, the ridge of the skull, your occiput ridge, um, around the back of the uh, so you find your earlobes around the back you'll feel a little ridge going in to the back of the skull around here and i dig the thumbs into that space and have a sense of guiding the thumbs kind of i'm kind of pressing inwards and upwards into the back of the skull so pressing in and up again not too much you don't want to you kind of want to find that um goldilocks point of not too strong not too little but just where it feels enough and take a couple of really big breaths into it. Again, try and soften the shoulders down. If it's making your neck ache with the shoulders up, then you can do this with your elbows maybe resting onto the wall in front of you or something. So you're leaning into something too to take the pressure off. So after you've taken a couple of breaths there, and I mean, that's an acupressure point, so sometimes even holding it a couple of minutes if your shoulders feel rested um, can release a lot of pressure. So from there, go in a little bit further towards your spine and you'll feel another uh, ridge point around the center point where the, where the spine meets into the back of the head. Again, press the thumbs kind of inwards and upwards into that. So the pad of the thumbs, not the nails. Don't, don't make yourself bleed with your nails. So again, pushing in and up and setting the head rest back into that again until you feel that um, just enough kind of pressure. And you're just breathing into it. Again, you can hold from anything from just a couple of seconds to a few minutes. Oh, feels pretty good. 
And then just massaging the thumbs around that ridge of the skull. They hold a lot of tension around this occiput ridge. Okay, if your arms need a break in between, obviously just give them a break. So again, interlacing the fingers. So keeping the thumbs with the ridge of the skull, but then bring the fingertips around to the sides of the head. And you're massaging into the muscle kind of above the ear. So as I say, this jaw hinge muscle that can get tense and create tension headaches wraps up into the sides of the head. So use your hands to give that a massage into there. Make your hair look as wild as you can as you massage your, your hair, your scalp. And you'll, again, it should feel pretty delicious in certain points of it to do that. So again, you can keep that going for a few seconds until your hair is crazy or as long as you like with it. And then um, bring the two fingers to the hinge of your jaw. Now, if you clench your teeth at the back, you'll feel the jaw muscle. I don't know if you can see this on the camera. You'll feel it kind of pop out, that jaw hinge muscle, which if you tense your jaw, which we do in, in stress, and if the neck and head get tense, it kind of all wraps into that space. So then using your fingers to go upwards in the jaw hinge, again, allow yourself to make some stupid faces here. So lift up the muscle roll it backwards so under kind of the cheekbone area towards the ears and then down and you're bringing the fingers kind of either side of the jaw bone so one is kind of with my gum line and one is under the jaw and you're guiding that muscle downwards towards the chin and then round it back up again and again a couple of big circles running it back and then dragging the muscle downwards again nothing too strong just enough and I would say repeat that maybe three to five times, massaging back. And let the arms then relax. Again, just notice how you feel. And then there's um, just a couple of other points as well. So in the fold of the um, eyebrows, uh, where your sort of eye sockets are, again, common if you're looking at a screen all the time and looking forwards and in and the eyes are focused. You bring your, um, maybe again, tip of the thumbs or index fingers into the, where the eyebrows hit into the sockets. Again, you'll kind of feel maybe a little ridge and you just let the weight of your head kind of drop into the tips of the fingers. So kind of just on the inside of the nose, into here. And you're again, I'm pressing kind of in and up a little bit just to take the pressure off that space. A couple of deep breaths. And you can do this at your desk as well. If your elbows are resting on the desk, bring your thumbs into that space. It feels really good here just to take some pressure off and just take a few breaths. You can let your head get quite heavy into it. And then stroke the eyebrows outwards. Okay, so again, you can run just under the eyebrows and just above the eyebrows too. So I'm using your fingers to massage out of here too and to the temples. So go from the center, lifting over the eyebrows and to the temples. So I hope that helps.